Understanding Garden Fence, an English language lesson. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating aspect of the English language, understanding the phrase garden fence. This video will explore its literal meaning, usage, and the cultural context behind this common phrase. So, let's get started. A garden fence is, in its most basic form, a physical structure. It's typically a barrier made of wood, metal, or other materials surrounding a garden. Its primary purposes are to provide privacy, security, and sometimes to enhance the aesthetic appeal of a garden space. The concept of a garden fence is common in many cultures, representing a boundary between private and public spaces. In English, garden fence can also have metaphorical or idiomatic meanings. It often represents boundaries in relationships or discussions. For example, when someone says they're sitting on the garden fence, it means they are undecided or neutral in a situation. This phrase is used in everyday conversations to express a lack of commitment to a particular side or viewpoint. In literature and everyday speech, garden fence is sometimes used to depict neighborly chats or community interactions. It's common to hear about people talking over the garden fence, which refers to neighbors conversing across their fence, symbolizing friendly, informal communication. This use highlights the cultural value placed on good neighborly relations and community in many English-speaking societies. The concept and usage of garden fence can vary slightly in different English-speaking regions. For instance, in British English, garden fences are often associated with suburban life, whereas in American English, they might be more connected to privacy and property delineation. Understanding these regional differences is crucial for English language learners to grasp the full context of the phrase. And that wraps up our exploration of garden fence. We've seen how it's more than just a physical structure. It's a phrase rich in meaning and cultural significance. I hope this video has been informative and enjoyable. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next English language learning adventure.